He literally has her by her neck right now. Now he's nibbling her legs. This water came in and basically ruined it. So I needed to start fresh with that because it destroyed the cabinet. So all of that stuff is in these bins. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. So I'm in the barn today because we have not talked about the barn in a while and there's a lot of updates that we have to do to the barn because over the course of me being pregnant, I wasn't able to be in the barn as much because I was sick, whatever, and then I just didn't have enough energy to. And some things like ended up breaking, things weren't working the right way, and I wasn't able to like maintain it the way that I like to maintain it. So now that I'm able to be back out here and such, it's time that I get the barn back in working orders. So I need to get right into it because I'm really excited to actually be working in the barn. It's been a while since we've worked in this barn, so I feel really good to be back out here and the weather is awesome in Florida right now. So without further ado, if you guys are excited to see us work on this barn a bit, and I have some really different exciting things to show you about the barn that's actually changed while I was pregnant, then make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. All right, you guys, let's get right into working on this barn. And the first thing that we are going to be tackling is the latches on our barn stall doors. So these latches are the original latches that we had when we built the barn but a lot of them have gotten a lot like really rusty. So they're really hard to open. And I just find this to be like a hazard. Cash knows how to open these really well because he always escapes, but it's a hazard for me at least because I can't like, like I'm really pulling on it and I can't get my horses in and out quick enough because of how rusty they are. I mean, Mike doesn't have a super big problem with it, but um, I don't love it. So we are switching our latches today to these latches. Okay, show us how it works. So it's like that it's actually very like typical stall latch um we just got them at tractor supply are you interested trigger in your new latch so we're gonna install all of these on all the horse stalls so hopefully they don't escape for one and also it's easier to get them in and out first latch is going in So the first new latch is done. What do you think, Trigger? Looks so good. Looks like a typical horse stall. So it goes like this, open sesame, and then close. We still have these, but we're not gonna like use them or anything like that, they're just there. We'll take those off next, but that's what it's looking like. What do you think, Trigger? Guys, I'm actually wearing the baby, if that makes sense. So the baby is on my chest right now, so Trigger's very intrigued. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now we have to just do the rest and they'll all have nice new latches. While Mike is doing that, I want to show you guys a couple of things that we changed up. So this first thing is this area over here, the storage area got all cleaned and organized. So there's a lot more room here. This was like about four weeks ago that this happened. So obviously there's like now some shavings and dust and feathers from the chickens. But we downsized on a lot of stuff back here. Honestly, I probably could even more. But for now, this is how it's looking. These two are always at it. This is like a daily thing for them. Cash and Dinky. He literally has her by her neck right now. Now he's nibbling her legs. This is great circle work for him because he just goes in circles after her. Work him out, Dinky. It's a working donkey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get him, Dinks. See, he gets his feet moving. This is how my horses stay fit. <laughs> I think he does all the work. Donkey roll. Okay, so while I was out looking at the horses and watching them play and showing you guys a few other things, Mike actually was able to get the latches done and they look so good. I really like the style of them. They're really easy to use and it's like giving me like, you know, like barn stall, like typical barn stall vibes. So. The other latches actually worked for, you know, three years. We got a good use out of them, but now I'm excited that we have these latches. So hopefully they work, fingers crossed, because they're very cute. So let me show you guys our finished product on our latches. All of the latches are installed, except June's, but they all are installed. They look really good. There's caches and blaze. So Tractor Supply had four of the black ones, 
but they didn't have a fifth one and we have five stalls that needed them. So this is technically our fifth one that we're waiting on to fully dry because Mike just spray painted it. And honestly, it looks like the exact same. So we're just waiting for that to completely dry and then we'll put it on. So I really like the latches, not like a huge thing, but it is just a little bit of an upgrade to the barn. Hopefully they don't rust like the other ones did. So fingers crossed on that. But next thing I wanna show you guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, we actually had some work done on the barn while I was pregnant and that was my tack room. So Mike's brother was working at our house a bit while um, I was actually giving birth in that time frame. So not even while I was pregnant, it was like the week that I gave birth and then a couple days after. And it was the tack room because that was something that I really wanted to tackle during my pregnancy. Well, before like I had the baby because the tack room was getting really gross. We had a lot of water come in when, basically the start was from when we had Hurricane Ian. There was just so much water that ended up getting into the barn and it somehow got into the tack room so i don't know if it was like underneath like i don't know we can't really figure out exactly where the water came from we tried to do like a quick fix back then and now whenever we have rainy season water gets into the tack room it just like seeps in from under somehow into the floor of the tack room and it's created like a nasty environment in my opinion in there it makes it like hot and muggy and like i feel like it can turn into like a moldy area so we had him basically gut the whole tack room and cut off some drywall at the bottom, get all of that out, and then put some reinforcement like insulation, waterproof insulation, so that we don't have any more water intrusion. And then we redid the baseboards with like wood rather than using regular baseboards because now we're working with more of the elements because before I had pretty much every like thing in there. It was like interior grade kind of stuff. So my baseboards were literally like household baseboards. So don't want to go that route. I wanted to go with something that can withstand like the elements a bit better, but I'll stop talking so that I can show you guys what we did in there because I really like it. We have a lot more to go in there though. So that's going to be like a whole video on its own because you guys will just see, I'll show you. So going into the tack room, it's actually a bit of a mess right now. So disregard, it's a mess in a different way because the floor was really dirty and it looks dirty right now, but it was a lot dirtier. The chickens have just been walking in here, but as you can see, these are the new baseboards. So everything was cut behind there and taken out because I didn't like that it was like moldy on that bottom bit of the baseboards because I don't like it in here. Mold is not good. So anyways, got taken out. Then the insulating foam was added and then these are our new baseboards and then they were all siliconed underneath. So as you can see that white bead of silicone underneath there. So hopefully we shouldn't have any water intrusion. We've had a couple hard rains since and no water has built up in here. Usually this area is where the water would sit and then it would be really nasty. So we've done this in the whole tack room here. And as you can see, we have a bit of a mess. So we're gonna address all this. So I had right here my beautiful cabinet of supplies and I loved organizing that cabinet. And I definitely need to get a new one, but as you can see, it's no longer there anymore because water came in and basically ruined it. So I needed to start fresh with that because it destroyed the cabinet. So all of that stuff is in these bins over here. And then also there was another cabinet right here that had more supplies, um, more like miscellaneous supplies for the other animals and such. And we had to get rid of that one as well because there was also water damage to that too. So lucky for us, we get to do a cool video on re-getting new shelves and reorganizing everything in this whole tack room is basically gonna get a new reorganization thing to it. It'll kind of look like the same as it did before, but just redone. So all my stuff is basically over there. I need to clean all of my tack, but when there was water in here, it was kind of making more of like dust and stuff. So as you can see, my saddle is pretty dusty, but I will need to do a whole tack cleaning and such before I ride because <laughs> I don't actually use this bridle, but still this poor bridle is nasty. But anyway, so this has, the bones of it is a lot better now because it's more waterproof. And the material in here is more element friendly rather than household friendly. And then in here, this all did get like a good clean out on the ground, but it needs to be cleaned again. So as you can see, this happens very quickly because the chickens get in here and I'm trying to eliminate that issue, but it just happens. And then all right here, this stuff, I typically only keep things up here that we use at the time. And I guess the last time that I was able to do this before I wasn't able to come out here as much during my pregnancy. We were using some of these things that we don't really use much anymore. And I have a bag of feet up here because the chickens keep trying to go in that and it's open. So there's just a lot going on. I have some eggs in here. So I do need to do more of like a clean overall in here, but 
the base of it is a lot different now. It feels a lot better in here. It, surprisingly, looking like this feels so much cleaner than I did before. It just felt like so nasty and like muggy in here. I did not like it. I don't know why. It just, well, I do know why. It was just gross. Did not make me feel good being in there. I would just get in and get out. And before, when we first built the barn, I loved it in there. It was nice and cold. All the feet stayed really good in there. I do need to think of something different with the AC unit though in there, because it's not really up to par anymore. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I will also tackle that. We do a whole revamp of the tack room. So if you guys want to see me do a whole revamp organization of all of that in that room, let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely do that for you guys. Hi, Petey. Hey, kitty, kitty. I have some barn visitors. Next up, while I was pregnant, like I said, a lot of the things kind of failed. Well, not a lot of things, but a couple things failed in this barn that we just let go and didn't address and deal with. And we just kind of made do with what it was and figured out ways to work around it. So we need to do that today. We just got to get it done. So a couple of those things are something with the Dutch doors, one of the water spigots in Cash's stall, and then some of these bars that are separating the horse stalls. And you will see that, but those are like the loose end things that we need to tackle now and get those just cleared off and figured out because the little things end up adding up and becomes like a bigger thing because we just go on and say, we'll do it next weekend, we'll do it next weekend, next weekend. But today is the day we are tackling and getting it all done. Blaze either kicked it out. Well, we don't know what else would be the option of what happened, but his latch on the other side that holds it is no longer there. So we do need to fix this because we just kind of put it together with a rope so that it wouldn't fling open, but that cannot stay like that. And that facing upward one is for the top window part. But the actual latch to close this door is completely gone. So we've been having it sit like this for a while and it's not really the right way. So now it's time to put this latch back in. We are just getting it all done today. All the loose ends of the things that has been needing done in the barn that haven't gotten done. Yay. It's little stuff like this that always goes undone for a really long time until you finally are like, I need to do them all at once and set some time because this little stuff you can just say, oh, it doesn't matter, later, 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 and then it just starts to add up and then finally you need to get it done. And I'm feeling excited that it's finally getting done. <laughs> Last screw. And then it's fixed. There we go, fixed. Now we can get rid of this rope. Take the honorary rope away that's held it closed for the last weeks. They're actually rain, so we probably should get those back because they look kind of nice. Oh, in the water they go. Perfect. Back to normal. <laughs> Look at that. I wonder who that is. Oh, big ears. Dinky. So funny. She's so short. Her eyes don't even show above the door. Now you can see that the door is nice and closed and doesn't look weird. There's no little air gap in there. We are back in working business, people. Things can get really out of control really quickly, like in a barn like this, when there's animals and the outside elements, especially in Florida. And when you're busy having a baby, but even before I had the baby, like I said, there was a lot of things that I wanted to get done while I was pregnant and it just did not happen. So I'm very excited to just get this barn back up and running to normal like it has been in the past. We always like to make sure things are like super efficient and in working order in our barn, mostly because Mike and I both work, you know, every day Mike owns his own company and I go to a job every day and we now have a new baby. So there's a lot of like different responsibilities and you know, even aside from that, we just like to make sure that our barn is super efficient and that our animals needs are always taken care of. So I'm just very excited for these things that have become undone to now be done and just think about more ways to continue to make upgrades to the barn so that it works better. So I'm just excited to be able to now be out here and be keeping up with my barn and not letting things get like this. You know, now I need to clean the whole thing, get all the cobwebs out and such. I need to clean the fans and all that, but yeah. When you have a barn, you can kind of probably relate to this, but things can go downhill really quickly once you start to let like small things go and say you'll fix it later on and later on. It's just best to just, you know, word of the wise, just get it done. And when something breaks, fix it right then and there. You never will. So as you can see, the piece is super corroded. So 
this has been leaking, so when we turn the water on, you can see that thing doesn't work. So when all the barn water is on, it leaks tremendously out of this stall. So every night we have to turn off like our main water to the barn. Very grateful that we did that, but it's time to finally change this water spigot out because it's been like this for far too long and it's such a pain to turn on the main water system every time that we want to fill up our water buckets. That water spigot needed to be changed out so badly for far too long because every single time we have to give them water, it's not that far of a walk. We have to walk over here by the hay. Every single time we give them water, so morning and night, when we go to turn it on and turn it off, I have to go to our main water turn on and turn off and turn this on. So it kind of becomes a pain because you have to turn it on and then his water hose would just drip out. So then you have to run really fast and fill up all the waters and then come back and turn this off. And if you forgot, you know, then you'll have a big flood. But that was a pain, but I'm actually really grateful that we did that because that would have been a really big problem if the water spigot had broken and then we weren't able to actually turn it off because that's kind of what happened the first time is when we didn't realize it like flooded his stall. And then obviously we were able to turn it off, but very smart if you are building a barn to do a main like water turn off in your barn. So just glad that that's back and working so that we don't have to go over there and turn that on and off every single day. Cause that was so annoying. And just, you know, when I talk about efficiency, that was not efficient. New water spigot is installed. Mike is over there turning on the waters. Oh my gosh. I mean, success, it's not leaking, so that's good. It's closed, so before it would just spit out, so now it's time to re-put the hose back on. Look at that, and there's water. And I think we also need to maybe give this hose a little manicure. Let me see the end of it. Yeah, so he's chewed it up a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that so it looks better. This is why we can't have nice things, because of him. He eats it. On another note, we've had this barn for three years now, well, almost, yeah, about three years, yes, exactly. Oh my gosh, time is flying. And just now, three years later, he's learned that these are not metal bars and that they are PVC. So he's made this whole gap here so him and Blaze can talk to each other. Not a huge big deal, but all the other ones are intact still. He's starting to learn this side when Dinky comes over here, but not a big deal but we do need to replace those because his head is literally always in there so one day he'll jump over and be in there with blaze one day yay so now it works it's working properly no leaks nice clean cut on it so it doesn't look like a chewed wow what a good feeling this was like this literally all through my pregnancy and maybe even before then what do you think it was like this for a while so very happy that we get to use the barn properly again hi chicken Okay, like this is my barn, because I'll never leave. Look at that sunset, you guys. It doesn't look as pretty on my camera, but oh my gosh, look how cute they look together. Okay, so this is what June's look like. Also, same thing, but now it's nice and pretty. Now she can have a nice, fresh hose. Are you happy about that? One more thing before I leave the barn. It's getting pretty dark out, so it's kind of dark in the tack room, but I don't know if you guys ever knew this. For just a short time after we had the barn, our lights stopped working and forever we would go in this tack room and we'd have to leave the doors open because we never fixed the lights and we recently fixed the lights, so ready? And it's crazy. Yeah, there's lights. So we've been feeding horses and stuff at night or like when the time changes in the dark in the dark in here and i haven't seen a light in here in so long kitties i have two kitties in here so it's actually really nice that we have our lights working again it was such a simple fix and we even bought the lights pretty like quickly after the lights went out we just never installed them because they're pretty high up there so finally they're installed and this is my first time being in the tack room at night since we've had them installed well when it's dark out pretty much and being able to see in here it's pretty awesome so mike's just finishing up the last latch here with June's help. Now that the latches are all officially done, Mike is working on uninstalling the old latches. So just left with a couple holes, no big deal. Should have kept them double latched, so Cash could definitely not get out. Mm -hmm. We could work on this one and then he'd think he could get out and then he'd be like, oh wait, the other one. But June is hard at work already. Just got it installed five seconds ago, figuring out how to open it. She might, look, at, look it's up. That part is up already. Junie. 
Why must you want to leave? Okay, so final update on the latches. Look at guys. Remember the color the wood used to be. Move your face, Trigger. And the natural aging stain. So this is, move your face. We're trying to film here. So this was, one day we'll get this out. This was the color that it used to be. And then this is what it is now. But not too bad. But this is what we're left with. We have brand new latches. Love it. So this side is all done with the new latches and the old ones taken off. Mike is literally beating up the old latches. What is going on? <laughs> but one day those will come off. Uh, he's working on that now. And then he just has caches to go. So it's actually been a good couple days with the new upgrades at the barn. Things are going well, but we have a latch dilemma. So Cash and June and Louie and Blaze all can get out of their stalls. Trigger probably could, he just doesn't, he's like the goodest boy, so he doesn't wanna get out of his stall. But every single one of these horses can get out of these latches. These latches are actually easier for them to get out of than the old latches, and I think the old latches were harder because they were rusty. So when I was showing you guys, it was hard for me to open them. That's why it was probably a little bit more difficult for them to open them. But if you're really determined like Cash, then you could get out. They've just been gal dancing through the barn morning and night. We had no control over them as far as these latches go. And it's been a big pain. So we added a little bit of a reinforcement to it and I will show you it. And since then, nobody has escaped and they will not escape. As long as we remember to do this one thing and to put their extra clips on them, which is a little bit of a pain, but this is what we have to do. So this is what we're gonna do until we come up with another latching system some other time because we just did all these latches and this is what we're working with. I actually like the usability of the latches. It's just, they're a little frustrating because my horse knows how to get out of everything, it appears. And we didn't have a problem with this for many years with this barn and my last barn. It's just been up until like the last year that Cash has really learned how to get out of them and then June learned how and yeah. So it's been a debacle, but let me show you. So this is what we had to add and it's like this little circle hook thing. And we have this little clip here. And you just go like this. You just have to figure it out. And I'm doing it with one hand, so it's not really working that well, but there we go. And that's how you get it open. And you say hello to Trigger. But this is what it looks like latched again. And June's spray paint thing that we did did not work out. She messes with it too much, but oh well, it still functions and it's perfectly fine. I don't know if this is the permanent answer or what, but this is what we're doing now. The only thing that I don't love about this is just this latch. So I'm gonna try to find different latches than these ones that would work better and are quicker and easier. It's just these are too tight like to get around quickly. So that's gonna be my main thing with this, but this is fine to me as long as we have something here. No big deal, but I actually really like how these work and open. So that's where we're at with these. All right, you guys, well, that is it for today's video of all of our barn upgrades that were much needed. I'm so happy to be back out here and upgrading the barn because we really needed it. Hi, Dinky. And next thing to upgrade in this barn is actually going to be her stall. I talked about it in a video while I actually was pregnant. We never got to it, but next thing we are going to be is revamping her stall and making it actually look like a real horse stall. So very excited for that. But yeah. if you guys like today's video as these two are still angry with each other, <laughs> then make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any videos like this. Are right, you guys, well, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.